In uh, this particular problem, we're talking about the algebraic properties. Uh, it's very important that you memorize each one of these. The first one is just the identity property. And the easiest way to remember these is just you do something to keep the number the same. So, for example, if you're multiplying, um, you have to multiply a number by 1 to make it equal that number. So 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Uh, with division, you divide by 1. So 4 divided by 1 is 4. With adding and subtracting, you have to either add 0 or subtract 0. So 4 plus 0 is 4, and 4 minus 0 is 4. So those are all the identity properties because it keeps the number the same. Uh, the next one is the commutative property. Keep in mind this only works for adding and multiplying. In this case, what we're doing is you've got to remember the commutative is the order changes. So if you look in that particular problem, it goes 2, 3, then 3, then 2. Uh, the next one is associative property. I want you to remember groups or parentheses change. So in this case, if you notice, the order is the same, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But the groupings, in the first side, it's 1 and 2 is grouped. And in the second side, it's 2 and 3. Again, that only works for adding and multiplying, just like the commutative property. Now, the distributive is where you remove the parentheses by multiplication. So you multiply the outside term. So in this case, it's a 2, positive 2. 2 times 3 is 6x. And 2 times positive 4 is positive 8. All right, in the next case, it's a negative 2. Keep in mind it's a negative, not just 2. So negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6x. And then a negative times a positive is a negative. So 2 times 4 is 8, so negative 8. Okay, And those are the four main properties that you need to remember. Now, uh, we're going to go look at the first example. So in this case, this is kind of a tricky one. It says 2 minus 4 equals negative 4 plus 2. Well, you should look at them as actual, look at the numbers differently. So read them as positive and negative. So that's a positive 2 and a negative 4, and then a negative 4 and a positive 2. So in this case, the order changed from one side to the other. Um, so since it's order, it's the commutative property. Keep in mind, this is the commutative property of addition. Uh, because, again, it's just the order of the terms. It's positive 2 and a negative 4, and then a negative 4 and a positive 2. Um, there's no such thing as the commutative property of subtraction. So. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the second example. Uh, the second example, it's asking us to simplify the expression. So the first thing you should think to do is to distribute. So you look at what's directly in front of the parentheses. In this case, it's not a 3. It's a negative sign, or a negative 1. So you just bring down the 3, you do a negative times a positive, so negative 2x, and then a negative times a positive is a negative 4. So you rewrite the expression, uh, 3 minus 2x minus 4. Combine the like terms of 3 and the negative 4. When you put those together, that gets you uh, negative 1. So your final answer is negative 2x and negative 1.